okay darlings today i am going to discuss about the how to load a file into pig okay first of all i am taking a file in local which i have already have otherwise i will take a new file cat i will take a new file g edit i am going to open the edit file emp 2.txt don't have any data okay no problem i'm deleting i'm deleting existing data i'm going to give a new data which i already i typed here here a comma delimiter file every field I give separated given comma you also need to separate it comma okay I given should not be any spaces okay I'm going to quite save okay let us check cat emp2 dot txt I have not yes I have I'm going to open the pig. Pig. P I G pig. Just click pig. In Hadoop, you can get the pig command prompt. Just click on enter. That's it. Successfully, you enter into the pig. Just you need to load local file into pig for that you don't have any permission to copy from local file to pig that is the that is the way you need to load local file into hdfs for loading local file into hdfs we have command called hadoop fs iphone copy from local because we are copying from local right copy from local emp to dot txt suman dir suman dir dir is a directory which already i have the directory I'm loading existing local file into suman dir which I already created if you want to create dir directory in hdfs hadoop fs iphon mk dir your directory name directory name that is the way if you want you want to create your name my name is suman suman dir it is showing already you have suman dir file is exist if you don't have it will create a new file i already copy let us check hadoop fs fnls suman dir yes we copied emp dot we copied emp2 dot txt let us check we have we have file we have data or not hadoop fs this command for this command for checking a directory i for ls this is command for checking a file data suman dir under slash uh, under our file name emp2 dot txt let us check yes we have we have file we successfully copied in local into hdfs we are going to load this data into our pig 
what is a command called loading stfs to pick you have command like a you have command like this this any any name you can give now first time you explain on notepad then you can easily you can understand this is a command here you can give any name I am giving like a summon emp this is a we are this here we are using assignment operator whatever here happening the loading data grouping a data whatever it may be we are loading the data into a alias name relational name whatever called name we are loading with assignment operator to that data to summon dot emp this name any name okay this is a operator for loading data <coughs> test dir test dir we are not given any test dir yeah? we are given summon dir i am giving summon dir which i have loaded file our file name called emp2.txt using 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 is operator big store big store is a constructor comma delimiter comma letter which i have given comma let us see here i given comma um, based on that comma i am separating the values comma based on a color comma delimiter i am separating the values as as the, this data whatever here there in data i am separating based on comma i am loading into this data types e code int e code int this int value whatever i given the emp code that is going to store into here e code int you already know in java c c plus c where we are seeing int after that let us see e name char array char array like a string like a string we are giving e name char array e cell e cell i am giving int that is also in int right name Na for name i given char array for salary i given int for department number i given int for sex sex is also string right that's why i given char array let us execute this one I'm not executing this one. Sorry. Fake. Just I copied there. Control Shift C. Control Shift V. Okay. Summon EMP. This is the name already i explained this one query let us execute successfully executed how to check this one let us see first we need uh, let us see the whatever the we mentioned field name like a column names in sql sumn emp has e code int e name char array e cell int dnvo int sex carare let us check the files emp summon emp log files is coming means we are executing 80% successfully let us see the results
it will take some time first time next time also it will take a little bit time but not like a first time So all our log files where it is executed under the files these are files we got we just know we loaded from stfs to pick this uh, format you can load from stfs to pick these are format thank you but one more thing I want to say this is not a permanent store this is a virtual store this is not a permanent store if you once you quit like um, before quit I'm going to show one more command called illustrate illustrate Simon EMP this is one more command to show the data see where the format like uh, SQL like my SQL is showing data like uh, whatever we are used it uh, types data types and all let us check that one also this virtual store or permanent store I'm going to quite and create the command and uh, let us going one second take let us check we can get comments or not dump suman emp we are not getting that that is called virtual storage this is not a permanent storage this is only virtual store one we quiet this this memory this uh, data going to loss how you can store the data into the our specific file let us see that one also I'm loading one more time copy paste executed let us check no need to check if it will take a long time okay uh, for sharing we have Command call store store suman emp into like a um, um, what file we can name take uh, like my emp just like yes executing successfully. wherever you got the data if you store means you need to store that there only that means stfs you're going to store the stfs that is a command which i given just now for storing data there is a command so many log files this is a command store suman emp which <laughs> we have loaded file into the a name called suman emp there's a alias name and a relation name into my emp my emp name called which i'm going to load the file no need to have the file in the hdfs it automatically create and write that file into my emp let us check successfully okay let us check Hello, FS, SLS, my EMP. Yes, we have Hello, FS, FNLS, my EMP, pod, them, five zeros. What is this one? What 
root store part by part okay this is uh, m is called map or is written this data into the this file yeah. why it is not showing because this is uh, not a command called showing data it is only showing only directory okay let us change that command cat yes we have loaded successfully here we can see the data very um, natural format like a sql mysql you can see the data like that is fact this is a way to store the data into big big to store into the hdfs load to hdfs to big big to store into the hdfs this is a very this is a way uh, i think i satisfied uh, very well very thank you